Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope all of you are doing good. So with me here is the Nokia 6300 4G. Probably for those of you who are interested to purchase a smartphone or a smart feature phone, then I would suggest to get the Nokia 6300 4G. Despite being a two-year-old device, you can still get this as a brand new device, which is quite shocking. And the price is really affordable at about USD 50. So a new KaiOS device made by uh, HMD Global with the Nokia brand with it for about USD 50 is just about right. Now, as you can see, it comes in three beautiful colors, white, green, and black. A couple of features that we're going to explore a little later. So this is the Nokia 6400 4G revisited two years later. I am uh, actually bought this as a brand new device and I'm just exploring it for the past couple of days. And this is how it is. This is the green color. And as you can see here, it's a bit different than the previous KaiOS device that I uh, reviewed, the Nokia 800 Tough. And this is because this is more of a budget device. So it is all plastic, but it is as durable as any other Nokia uh, feature phones that I've reviewed before. So good build quality despite being USD 50. Now, a couple of features here is a 3.5 millimeter head jack, which is important because this does not support the wireless FM function. A single power button on top, VGA camera with LED flash, Nokia logo in the back, a decent loudspeaker and a micro USB for charging port and pretty much clean on the right and left hand side of the device so and as you can see the keypad is recessed now my early experience with the Nokia uh, 8110 4G running on KaiOS was pretty horrible thanks to the poor build quality of the Nokia 8110 4G and its cramped keypad uh, and I really get to experience uh, KaiOS differently with Nokia 800 Tough and this device is about the same except for the uh, slightly recessed keypad here. While the central, the main keypad here is actually recessed, the other buttons are slightly elevated so you do get to have some tactile experience. Now up front is a 2.4 inch LCD display with 16 million colors, about decent I would say in uh, sunlight readability experience. Um, 240 by 320 resolution so nothing really uh, fancy about it but as you can see this is a dual sim device dual 4g device supports voice over lte voice over wi-fi it also has uh, it supports a uh, nano sim uh, both these sim cards are actually nano sim supports and the battery is 1500 milliampere battery which lasts you about two to three days depending on your usage pattern built-in storage is uh, for gb which is expandable and the ram is 512 powered by qualcomm 210 just like all the other uh, KaiOS devices made by HMD Global with Nokia logo on board. Now, just going to give you an example of how the call is. As you can see, this is a call made with Wi-Fi, so it does support um, HD quality. As you can see, the HD option is coming up here. And unfortunately, I don't find any built-in voice or call recorder for that purpose. So for people who are in the lookout for that maybe there's a third party app for it contact is actually a rich contact experience here you can save the contact uh with the uh, if you go into edit sorry let's go to the options here and you can actually add in uh, many other details like pictures emails uh, address as well as personalized ringtones and the good thing is that the contacts here can be seen with your google account just like the calendar so you do have all your google contacts and your google calendars information in a kios device which might be the only reason why you want to have a kios on a feature phone now the kios store here is pretty much ever growing but do take note that this is running on kios version 2.5 not the latest one but it's a blessing in disguise because the latest one does not support whatsapp function camera is basically rudimentary you do can have the option to switch between camera and video with just a single click of the button but you don't have any other uh, additional experience like a filter on board like you get with the nokia feature phones so that is missing here so which is really sad because nokia feature phones has it why not on a kai os device but other than that you do get options for the flash timer you do have a grid options and uh, you can also switch between photo and video mode in this layout as well now you do have a gallery here which you can use to view all your photos your images and this is just one example of images that i took decent nothing much to be uh, praising about that you got a video player on board you got messages this is a rich messaging experience messages are in a thread so you can delete all the messages in a thread with a single click or continue messages in a thread it is something that a lot of people have been asking whether are the messages threaded so when it comes to the um, 
browser here this is the version for china i'm not really sure whether this is actually based on opera mini or whatnot but the browsing experience is decent uh, with the 4g and a browser that actually compresses data so you do get to have a decent experience browsing on the internet with a kai os device so no complaint there now when it comes to the clock function you have alarm timer and stopwatch which is more than enough for uh, a device like this you've got a decent music player with an expandable storage you can listen all the music that you want either through the loudspeaker or the headphone or a bluetooth headset now as i said earlier the fm function only works with the wired uh, option so no wireless unlike the feature phones which is again set file manager allows you to access your internal storage as well as your external storage calendar as i've said earlier is something which is really unique for a feature phone because you get to sync it with uh, your google account so that is about nice i would say and you got some options for the games and you got tons of other apps in the kios store that for uh, that you can try on which i think that uh, which is pretty enough for a, a feature phone experience on a budget device now for the main reason why i did this review is to explore what the whatsapp has to offer so as you can see here this is how the whatsapp layout is like you got status you can call you can't do video call but you can do voice call with your whatsapp so this is something that i think is more than enough so you can you can use your chat options you can have status you can view status you can add status and you can make calls with the built-in whatsapp app so some of the cool features for the nokia 6300 4g is the ability for it to be used as a hotspot so something that a lot of people have been looking for is a device that can do hotspot and thanks to its dual sim setup so this is a very good device to use as a hotspot and the micro usb port here can be used to be connected to other peripheral storage devices so you can access images from there as well so this is a quick look into the nokia 6300 4g two years later and at a price of usd 50 for a brand new one i would say that this would probably be the best purchase of a kios device that you can because it's running on kios 2.5 that can run whatsapp without any issues so this is the kios to go for in my next video I'll be exploring a more premium KaiOS device so that I'll be uh, sharing it in much later. So for now, this is the Nokia 6300 4G. Tell me what you have to say. And I have to caution you that there are a lot of fake Nokia 6300 4G out there. So do be careful what you're purchasing for. Make sure it runs on 4G and not 2G. So